I had a very strange dream. The Lord, in his infinite mercy, will reveal its meaning. Until then, you must promise never to reveal to anyone that you are a Jew. There will be a time for you to remain silent and a time for you to speak. All hail, King Xerxes! Don't you agree that a woman my age should be married by now? Esther, my love, the Lord will reveal his will soon enough. The king has commanded your presence at once. Tell him I'm busy. This impertinence shall not stand. I command that Queen Vashti be removed from the palace at once. The king has dissolved his marriage to Queen Vashti. Persia is without a queen. Then his majesty will simply have to find a new one. Where then would you have me find a queen? The Lord has heard my prayers and he has answered them. If she captures the king's heart, his eyes will not disagree. You there. By what name are you called? The woman who fears God will be greatly praised. Will you be an obedient queen? That is all I ask. Will you be a faithful husband? Though I have chosen quickly, I am certain I have chosen wisely. Foolish king follows his heart and not his head. When I seize the crown, Persia will again be great. There is a group of people in your kingdom who are disloyal. The Jews. It is the wicked Lord Haman, my queen. He has convinced your husband to destroy all the Jews, including you. This cannot be. Now take me at once to the king. The Jews are my people. If they be found traitors, let me be guilty as well. I have made a terrible mistake. You will simply have to find yourself another queen. My people worship the God of Israel. To your majesty, I owe my living. But to my God, I owe my life. These are words of treason straight from the traitor's own lips. I shall see the house of Haman Rome. Then shall I have my revenge on those insidious Jews. The army stands behind you, my lord. We strike at midnight. 